create standards for everything, you have to start teaching people how to communicate with you. And people always talk about creating a start doing list and create a, like a to-do list. I have a stop doing list, first of all. And second of all, this, is, this quote changed my life. I was having a conversation with Tim Ferriss, okay? author of 4-Hour Workweek years ago. And I was overwhelmed. Um, I had money. I had freedom money-wise, but I had zero freedom time-wise. And he goes, Peter, and I'll never forget this. He goes, Peter, you have to be okay with not responding to people. What does freedom look like for you? Most people think they're free, but they're not, mm -hmm. right? It, you have to understand what stage you're at. So we talked about this. I've talked about this before, but what stage are you at right now? Like, are you in sacrifice stage? Are you in extremely long hours where you have to miss family events? Because I just, once again, my 22 to 26, 27, I missed a lot of family events. I missed weddings. I miss things because I was building my business. And I knew that if I worked extremely hard for a couple of years, I'd be able to dominate and have a lifestyle that I was proud of the rest of my life. It's just so many people keep trading. Oh, I'm going to work hard for a month. Oh, I got to go to my wedding. I got to go home for a week. And they just, they, they never actually build real momentum. So what stage are you at? Right. Are you working the long hours? Maybe you're in a stage where you don't have to work and now you're starting to systemize and scale your business. Maybe you're getting out of the Superman stage where you're doing everything yourself and you're finally learning to hire and delegate. Maybe you're in the lifestyle design where you're only focused on producing growth in your business mm -hmm. and everyone else maintains the business, right? So the first step, Mike, is where are you at? You got to know where you're at and your action you take is based on what stage you're at in your business. Okay. So once you figure out what stage you're at, then you got to figure out your values. What's most important to you? Is it family? Is it flexibility and freedom? Is it adventure? Is it money? Is it security? What's most important to you? So when I had no money and I was dead broke, the feeling of being dead, thinking about having no choices of being dead broke, uh, that hunger that I had, well, I'll never have money issues ever again because of that feeling. Just like not being able to provide, uh, not being able to get an appetizer at the restaurant, <laughs> like, like wondering where my next bill is going to come. Yep, like that yep. feeling, I, I, I'll never feel that again because of how bad it was and, and how stressed I was. So I know at that point, my value was still family first, but mm. it wasn't family first where I have to spend time with them. I, the best thing I could do for my family and for myself is to put money first to make money and put, put that as my value. So my value was building my team, making money and creating financial freedom. So I eventually when I had a wife and kids, I had freedom. So don't think, Oh, my value is family. So I got to spend time with family. You have no money, dude. Yeah. How is that helping if you're spending time with family with no money and you're not providing, right? So that's why you have to understand your values and what stage you're at. So figure that out. What's most important to you? Then here's a big key. I've never shared this publicly. You have to figure out your thermometer, okay? Your, your thermometer determines how your life goes. How low does your monthly income have to get before you freak out? What is your thermometer? How unhealthy do you have to get till you focus on health? Mm. Because mm. most people wait till their back's against the wall almost everybody. Oh my gosh, I have cancer. I'm, I'm, I got to focus on my health. It's just like, no, 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 no. Why don't you do it beforehand? So you never have any issues, yeah. right? Yeah. So figuring out what your thermometer is, there's a certain, like based on your thermometer is where your life turns out your standards. Cause life is going to organize around the standards you set for yourself. Or second thing, this is number two, the right vehicle. What's more important, the journey or the destination? Well, the answer is, answer is neither. If you don't have the right vehicle, so vehicle is in terms of your opportunity, job, career, having the right one, whatever it is, right? But that's the second thing is the benefits of the right vehicle is fulfillment. Uh, your values are intact. You, you have long-term engagement and fascination. You have more control when you're in the right vehicle. So the vehicle is important for freedom because you could value freedom at the highest level. If one of your values is growth and freedom, but you have a job that's capped, you're, you're shooting yourself in the foot and you're always going to be stressed. Sure. That's why it's important to figure out for me. I knew if, if I wanted freedom, I had to figure out this internet money thing. I had to figure it out yeah. because I didn't want to trade time for money. And I also didn't want to only make more money when I work more hours. 
So that was huge for me. So figure out the vehicle and only, you know, what the right vehicle is. The questions you can ask are, is this going to keep me fascinated and engaged the next couple of years? Love it. Um, does this vehicle allow me to have massive growth? Does this vehicle, this is one of my biggest things. Does this vehicle allow me massive upside based on my value to the marketplace? Mm. I want to get paid based on my value to the marketplace not based on what other people think or based on what my boss or CEO thinks. So that's number two. How many people do we both know, Mike, that maybe have values of making a massive impact or making money and living free, but they're still scared to leave their nine to five. Yeah. It's like you, you value security over freedom and don't wait till that job is taken away where 25 million jobs will be replaced by artificial intelligence in 10 years. Don't wait. You got to start developing skills because skills are weapons in this new economy. So number three is uh, you have to have a filter system and you have to understand how to make your time more valuable. So create standards for everything. You have to start teaching people how to communicate with you. And people always talk about creating a start doing list and create a, like a to-do list. I have a stop doing list, first of all. And second of all, this, is, this quote changed my life. I was having a conversation with Tim Ferriss, okay? Author of 4-Hour Workweek years ago. And I was overwhelmed. Um, I had money. I had freedom money-wise, but I had zero freedom time-wise. And he goes, Peter, and I'll never forget this. He goes, Peter, you have to be okay with not responding to people. And I'm like, what do you mean? Allowed to do that? <laughs> you got to respond to everybody. Yeah. What else they're going to think? And he's like, the moment you fear someone else or the moment you, you let someone else control your peace of mind, the moment you're at their mercy. And I was like, oh my gosh. So you have to have a filter system. I'm telling you, and, and, and just to be, let's get very real here. Cause I think your viewers need this cause there's so much fluff out there. Sure. Um, I answer your texts and calls quicker than most people. And how long does it take me to answer yours sometimes? <laughs> sometimes three to 10 days. <laughs> okay. And yeah. I answer yours fast. Yeah. So it's just, I, I value freedom and family so much that nothing is as important as being with them and being present. I haven't answered my phone when it, when it was a, a, a number I didn't know for like five years. Yeah. And what's funny is I actually got that from Berghoff back in the day, mm. who most people don't know who he is, but me and you, yeah. Yeah. where I just, I have a filter system now. So you cannot get a hold of me unless you, you show you're serious. Um, so one of the best things that, that you can understand is your value and your worth. So knowing your worth and value, figuring out how much your time is worth per hour, figuring out what your craft is and mastering your craft. It's, it's that old adage becoming so good people ignore you, mm -hmm. right? So knowing what your standards are and then creating a filter system where when people reach out to you, um, if they want to hire you, if they want to be on your podcast, if they want you to book to speak, if they have a question, you have to have like a filter system. Like yeah. when a submission comes in and you're vetted, and, and people understand if you need to book me for my podcast, go to peterjboog.com slash interview. You want to book me for speaking? This is the email. You want to book me here? You have questions here? You want to thank me here? I, I, I'll do these calls once a week. If you have questions or you want to get value, be on these calls. You just want to learn from me? My podcast is here. Here's my books. Yeah. Because 99.99% of the time, Mike, when someone reaches out to me, it's a question I've already answered. It's in a YouTube video. It's in my book. It's in yeah. a frequently asked questions. And I just, it, it, here's what's interesting. All of my systems I've created, this was the same thing in direct sales. All of the systems I've created, the filter systems was out of frustration and being pissed off. Yep. All of them. Like I got so annoyed with people that I'm like, okay, this is a filter system. And I have the best executive assistant on the planet. I pay them $90 an hour to vet my stuff and protect my time. Mm -hmm. Um, and as I'm thinking about it, I should probably up their price to be honest with how much peace of mind they give me. Mm -hmm. So, so that's the next thing. And then, I mean, this can go for a half hour. I don't think we need to dive in, sure. but I just create a filter system for, for your life of how people can communicate with you. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think when you have that, it's so much easier. Here's five questions, um, that I ask about valuing my time or, or taking something on how much, what's the potential money wise. How valuable is my time to me right now? How valuable is money to me right now? How overwhelmed is this going to make me feel? And is this a strength of mine? Love it. So I'm very impact legacy value based where I've turned down 10 K speeches. And if I think about it's funny. So someone offered me, here's an example. Um, if someone offered, someone offered me a thousand bucks to do a swipe up for my Instagram. Right. And I, I charge more than that. 
but I was talking to Kayla this morning and it's like, it's so, it's so easy to be like, it's a thousand bucks. It's like a swipe up. It's there 24 hours. It's a thousand bucks. It's free money, but that's not how you have to think. Mm. You have to value your time. I remember when my son was born, I, I talked for a year and I'm, I, I try everything I can to follow my word. So I told everyone online, I'm like, dude, when my son comes, I'm, I'm upping my charge. If you're going to get me to leave my son and go speak on stage for two days, and you're going to get me to leave my son and wife, I'm going to charge more because I know my value. And I remember I tried to, I had pe two people reached out to me the uh, two weeks he was born and they were both under the fee I wanted. And I said, no. And I, I said no, because I said I would. So mm -hmm. that's a filter system It's like, I, I'm not charging 15 K for a speech anymore. I know it's like what free money. It's not free money. It's values. It's standards and everything affects you subconsciously. Yeah. It's like you, when we were talking a, a couple months ago, you're like, there's companies that want to pay you, but it's not worth your peace of mind being killed. If, if, if you're going to, if they're going to pay you to coach them, this needs to be the price because you go all in on it and you don't yeah. want to trade peace of mind for low price. Absolutely. It's the same thing with people. They got to understand their standards and their filter system. That's the next one. I love it, man. And then the, the, number four is you have to systemize your growth. If you want freedom, you cannot leave it up to chance. You cannot leave it up to hope. You cannot leave it up to circumstances. You cannot leave it up to, to like what you feel like in the moment or moods because a, a business ran off moods is a business soon gone. Hmm. So for me, I had to systemize my growth. Now, what does that mean? Systemize your growth. It means take away you from the equation and put systems in place that solidify and guarantee you results. Okay. So what I mean by this, I have a couple things I do and there's not a lot, but it's just for me, it's, it's the things that make me the most uh, growth in my business. So yeah. I have daily five by five, five minutes in the morning, five minutes a night. I just, am I on purpose? Am I on track? Am I committing to things that are relevant to my vision? Am I getting things done? Five minutes, five minutes. Weekly, I have an hour weekly master plan, right? It's in my productivity blueprint. I have a weekly master plan right. that I, it, every week, whether I feel like it or not, I plan my week. I, I review my previous week to make sure I'm on track. What day do you month, do that? Uh, Sundays. Sundays. Yep. Sundays. Um, and then I also have a monthly review once a month for two hours. I have a 60 day reality check, I call it. And then I have a quarterly review. And then I have a, uh, now on my 60 day reality check, this is important. This is what I do. I eliminate stuff and I increase energy, man. You're getting, you're getting some stuff out of me. Yeah, man. <laughs> I love it. I don't talk about this all the time. Um, so 60 days, I eliminate everything in my business that others can do better than me that take any of my peace of mind. I eliminate everything that drains my energy and I eliminate or lower time with relationships that are going nowhere. I then increase everything I permanently love. I increase everything that produces growth and progress. And I increase everything that grows confidence and certainty. So that's, that's the fourth. And then the last thing, honestly, is just execution. It's, it's really inside your business. There's some activities that result in getting more customers, creating more value for the customers, selling more products, and there's key activities. Don't forget the purpose of business is creating raving fans mm -hmm. and understanding that it's just getting and keeping customers. That's the whole purpose of business, getting, keeping customers. That's it. So there was a study done uh, of the top, top 100, a uh, top 1000 salespeople in this huge company. They were each making a million plus and they were, they were not the 5%. They were the 1% of the 5%. Mm -hmm. And they studied them and they, they surveyed them and they were wondering what made them so different. And it wasn't where they were from. It wasn't their past. It wasn't certain things. It was one thing. It was their speed of implementation. It was how fast they can hear something to execute. Now, the majority of people, if they hear something, they're like, well, is this going to work for my business? I don't know. If, I don't know. And then like five days go by and they don't even take any action. Yeah. Right. So speed of execution and implementation is the last thing. It's going to be nearly impossible to build a lifestyle you're proud of and build freedom if you don't know what to execute and, and executing it quickly. Complexity is the enemy of execution, right? So you have to get rid of all the noise in your head and realize that you have to have a coach or a mentor for a reason. Doing so, I know a lot of people that do unimportant things well. Doing something unimportant well doesn't make it more important. Sure. So people all are so obsessed, Mike, with 
um, working harder. It's not about working harder, working smarter. I know people nowadays that are working smarter, but they're still broke. It's yep. about working right based off your industry, based off your strengths and what's best for you and your values. So those are the five, man. If they can execute those and really understand those and, and, and if they cannot take anything on unless they're fully sold on it and there's a clearly end-defined result, um, they're well on their way to freedom, but they have to value freedom over everything else. And when something comes across their desk, and I'll end with this, when something comes across their desk, if they value freedom and peace of mind like me, this is my question. Is this going to contribute to my peace of mind or contaminate? Hmm. Yeah, but it's 10 grand. Is it going to contribute to my peace of mind or contaminate? Oh, it's going to contaminate. What's my, okay, it's 42 grand. What's my filter system? Well, a little bit of peace of mind lack. I'm impacting these people. 42 grand for my family. I'm taking it. So it's just knowing yourself. It all boils down to filter systems, knowing yourself, understanding what your value is and what the most important things are to you and measuring everything against those things. If, they, yeah. if people can do that, they'll live a massively successful and purposeful life that I just, I don't see enough people living this way. Hey, what's up? And thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy this video and this content, make sure you hit the subscribe button below, put the notifications on, and I assure you, you'll love this content in these videos.